Hello everybody, hope you're doing well. Welcome back to the third episode of CSK News in the past 24 hours. I don't know why all of a sudden we're grinding out news episodes, but I'm glad you guys are enjoying them. Let's hop into our first story, and it seems that love is in the air for CSGO pro players out there. It was actually last week, we actually had Shox get engaged to love of his life, and apparently this week as well, a female player known as Art Star, a Dignitas player for the female CSGO scene, she also got engaged to love of her life, and if you guys do not know, she was actually formally dating Skadoodle. I think it was six to seven months ago they were dating. They were one of the longer CSGO couples out there, and then I reported on that and they actually broke up later on. So it seems she has found someone else to call her love of her life. And very unfortunate because a lot of the replies were actually about Skadoodle. So if you guys didn't know that, they were actually formally dating. But best of luck to her in the future and of course to Shox as well. Now bouncing off that, even more importantly guys, back to kind of CSGO news. We also had XMS tweet out this. Of course, that's a picture of him wearing an Envious jersey. And this does mean, if, uh, many of you guys know right now, the French shuffle going on. I keep on talking about every single episode. This of course could mean that XMS returns to the Envious starting roster. As of right now, he's actually on their inactive roster, but that does mean if he joins back, who is going to be leaving Envious? And I'm sure you guys are well aware, the most expected player to leave the Envious roster was, of course, Scream. Scream, of course, tweeting out things like this, you know, decisions coming soon. That team's also been relegated from both ESL Pro League and ECS. It's no doubt, you guys are very well aware of the struggles on Envious's roster, and the most likely player to leave that roster will, of course, be Scream to go join the trio and maybe actually join back to G2 and that new roster out there. So again, this is nothing confirmed, just rumors right now, but it does seem XMS will be joining Envious. Who's going to leave that roster and where will they go? It seems right now probably Scream leaving Envious and most likely going to G2, which would be a dominant roster if they can also convince Kenny S to join them. And for all of you who are actually stuck watching Facebook ESL Pro League streams, now that's not many of you because I know that throughout the ESL Pro League finals going on, the group stage is going on right now, of course the Pro League finals this weekend, they've been stuck around five to 6,000 viewers, which if you are not aware is shockingly low. So there's not many of you out there who are still watching Facebook live streams. I'm gonna list down below some other options for all of you who wanna watch kind of like a Twitch-like live stream actually made by a community member out there in the CSGO scene. The first link down below is actually kind of like a Twitch layout. It's also very convenient if you guys wanna switch between events and streams itself so that link will be down below it, it's actually come to the point where people hate Facebook live streams for CSGO so much someone out there has made their own live streaming platform to fight against it, it has a really nice feel to it as well I've used it myself and currently right now me recording this uh, the screenshot of course doesn't show any gameplay because pro league finals don't start till later today or the group stages that is um, so if you guys want to use that also down below is of course the Russian twitch stream for some reason I, I don't know legality wise we can't have an English twitch stream but uh, we but of course we can have a Russian one. So if you guys want to watch that one, that also still garners more viewers than the Facebook live stream most frequently. So it's kind of funny to see how terrible the Facebook live streams have worked out. I know a lot of you guys or some of you guys do enjoy those live streams. I just can't, I know I'm a CSGO fan, but I cannot bring myself to go to Facebook, search for the stream. And that does, of course, it matters for the longevity of that streaming platform. But even more importantly is I didn't really realize how long Facebook streams will apparently be around if that contract does last. Now going back to the HLTV post about about this, I did not realize Facebook had secured ESL live streams for ESL 1 and ESL Pro League until the end of season 10. We're currently in season 7, that means we have next season another one and another one to the end of 2019 we could be stuck on Facebook unless we kind of try and fight back now of course it's probably not good for me to promote you guys watching other streams out there but for me and personally it's been a more enjoyable viewer experience and that's what matters when it comes to watching CSGO so those links will be down below apparently Facebook live streaming will it last till 2019 I cannot see that happening. And also in huge news, I talked about this in past CSGO News episodes. If you guys do know about ESL Belo Horizonte, a pretty big tournament coming up. I think it's actually mid-June. Uh, some pretty nice teams are going to be there. You know, Gambit, FaZe Clan. I think Space Soldier is big. I believe Torqued is going to be there as well. And two Brazilian teams will be SK Gaming and now Tem Como. I'm missing the eight team there, but I'll, I'll link it down below for all of you guys who are curious what teams will be there for the $200,000 tournament. It's going to be a great event. And at first, we thought only one Brazilian team could go because people thought there were going to be conflicts with contracts with SK Gaming, of course, signing their current roster, not Stewie2K, he's not under permanent contract with them, and of course, also signing the now Tem Como roster, which should be coming sometime expected in July when the current SK Gaming contracts were set to expire. Now, according to HLTV, and no official statement coming from ESL on the subject itself, but apparently both teams will still compete at ASL Bail of Horizonte, and there could be two theories as to why. Now, first of all, the first theory out there is apparently SK Gaming has not signed those contracts yet or have those contracts in place with now Tem Como, 
And the second theory is they could, of course, terminate those contracts with their current SK Gaming roster before the event comes mid-June. So one or two likely, probably the second one more likely there. They probably, of course, have contracts planned with Naotem Como if that is, of course, their future roster. And of course, the more likely situation here is they're going to terminate their current SK Gaming roster and they can then still compete at the tournament itself. So it does expect it sometime soon in June, guys, SK Gaming to, of course, release that current contract. And we're going to see Naotem Como maybe play under the SK Gaming name and the SK Gaming current roster would then play under, I guess, whatever name they would choose. So I know it's kind of a complicated situation, but of course, uh, we're going to see what happens eventually uh, when that tournament does come around in mid-June. And also, an even bigger news for all of you guys, I, it doesn't. It just seems that everyone who owns CSGO, everyone who plays PC no longer has an Xbox, or at least a lot of you guys who have Xbox do not actually have CSGO on that Xbox, but I don't blame you guys for it all. I don't understand why you'd want to play CSGO on, on any kind of console out there, but it does seem majority of people who play CSGO have no idea uh, what an Xbox even is, as we do not know what the update was. If you guys have not heard about this from Wicked Player a couple days ago, there was actually a large CSGO update on Xbox no other platforms that we're aware of as of right now and again no particulars as to what that update was if you guys have an xbox feel free to comment down below what it is as of right now rumors leading towards maybe a backwards compatibility update uh, other rumors saying maybe it's a step leading towards of course a battle royale mode being launched on console that given of course um, you guys are well aware of the the rise in fortnite and battle royale modes out there and uh, we had rumors a long time ago about csgo potentially releasing a battle royale as well as of right now we have no idea what the update really was it was again the largest update we've actually seen. Uh, it was on Xbox, but it's a larger update than we've seen on PC for nearly two months. So it's going to be curious to see. No updates from Valve or John McDonald so far what it is. Feel free to comment down below if you guys want to clarify, if you do have an Xbox, what that update was. And uh, now we just wait to see and clarify what exactly it was and hope for a bigger updates on PC sometime soon. I have a question though for all of you guys in the comment section down below. Given the rise of Fortnite and PUBG still sticking around, do you guys think that a, a Battle Royale mode is coming from Valve? Of course, we had Valve actually release their newest website. Uh, the way the way it looks, the, the outlook is really the only change was the, the overlay of that website itself. But Valve apparently has big changes coming. Will it be Battle Royale? And do you guys think that would work? I'm kind of on the fence with this one. I really do, of course, think uh, right now Battle Royale modes are taking off, and it would be particularly cool to see CSGO take off with that kind of mode, but would it take away from the main game too much is probably the real question. As always, it's for today's episode of CSGO News. I hope you all enjoyed. Please do me a favor, leave a comment down below. You know, say what's on your mind. Say some mean things. Say some nice things. I really don't care. But also, very last, we did have Smuya. This is actually last week, old news, but I have to touch on Smuya because he's just the man. He was actually added to FPL, finally. So that was very cool to see. So hope you all enjoyed today's episode of CSK News. I actually kind of dressed up today. I mainly just wanted to cover up my sunburn because there was a comment on a couple days ago. Someone said you were already red enough even without your sunburn, which was so true. Uh, kind of hurtful. I can't blame you for saying mean things if they're true. So just give me your worst dig. Leave a comment down below. Say some mean stuff. Let me hear it. And uh, just don't have it be how talk I, how talk I fast. Okay. I'm going to... Um, bye.